हेलो एवरी वन आई एम धर्मेंद्र शेठ फ्रॉम सूरत टूडे इट्स ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एंड आई एम एट होम इनफैक्ट आई बीन एट होम फॉर अबाउट अ वीक नाउ एंड आई बी एट होम प्रॉब्ली एट लीस्ट टिल फिफ्टींथ ऑफ अप्रिल एंड लाइक मी मेनी ऑफ यू मे बी एट होम doing all kinds of things when i was reading a magazine readers digest i came across a wonderful article and i thought of sharing that with you <clears throat> it was published uh, in december 2019 issue and the title of that article is 37 secrets to a happier life so i thought i would go through this entire list and discuss how many of these things are possible for us at home it may be a little long longish video so please stick around till the end the first is keep a diary well is it possible when we are at home of course it is possible you can note down whatever thoughts come to your mind about anything because writing is something closest to your art everyone wants to express their views and very often people don't speak or write speak or record you know they don't tell people so when you write a diary even if you don't show it to anyone it is going to help you so i think the first one keep a diary is possible second is take up a hobby is it possible well to some extent it is for example you have never sung you have never tried to sing well you can try to develop that as a hobby sing a couple of songs you can close your room and experiment we have a lot of uh, youtube videos giving you uh, karaoke opportunities so practice you might develop that as a hobby drawing for example when you are at home you can just sit and draw something and show it to people around you your members of the family they might suggest some good things to you so try doing that third is forgive well if you think about some person or persons who have caused a lot of trouble for you in the past think about them and this is a a golden time i would say to forgive them whether you believe in believe in god or not this is the time for you to forgive everyone who has caused trouble who has created obstacles in your way forgive them forgive and forget fourth is read 20 pages of a novel well i would uh, strongly recommend this actually not just because we are at home but even otherwise 20 pages of any good material in any language because reading will make your brain active in fact uh, uh, i can think of an article the wonderland of books if you go to our website www.fluentlingua.com you'll be able to read that article and even listen to i have recorded that article the wonderland of books it's a masterpiece <clears throat> it begins with a question why does one read books and it gives a very detailed answer to that question i'll just recite a couple of uh, lines which are at the beginning of that uh, essay why does one read books ultimately it is to understand life our individual experiences are narrow but books give us the experiences of others often the wisest of their generation and lift us out of our narrow ruts gradually as we go up the mountain sides fresh vistas come into view our vision extends further and further and a sense of proportion comes to us 
we are not overwhelmed by our petty and transient loves and hates and we see them for what they are hardly noticeable ripples on the immense ocean of life now this is a wonderful passage it tells you the advantages of reading so this uh, fourth point read 20 pages of any good material in any language that's possible during this uh, time when you are at home the fifth point is figure out your purpose now that's a little philosophical but obviously it is possible when you are at home you have a lot of time of self talk you can talk to yourself and find out your real purpose many spiritual thinkers and leaders have asked us to do a kind of introspection look within and try to find out why you are here on this earth what's your purpose what's your goal what do you want to do so i think during this uh, home quarantine it's possible to think about your purpose figure out your purpose Sixth point is think about negative emotions as an opportunity. Well, when you are forced to be at home, you are not allowed to go out, and I'm sure there will be lots of negative emotions. You may be frustrated, disappointed. All these things can happen. So take these as an opportunity. Learn how to control them. How to learn how to overcome such negative emotions and feelings. and if you are able to control them now if you are able to overcome them now you will become a much much stronger person when the situation becomes normal and you will be much happier and uh, your i'm sure you'll be more successful than ever before seven point is adopt a problem solving approach well i'm sure you will face a lot of problems these days you will have to you know do without many things you will have to accept many situations <clears throat> so adopt a problem solving approach when you face a problem even at home these days try to find a solution don't be disheartened by problems seventh is spend quality time with your family well i'm sure everyone is doing that because you are not allowed to go out i'm sure you are communicating with the members of your family you are learning more about them you are helping them they are helping you there is a stronger bond family bond that is established so this is possible ninth develop strong relationships outside your family now it will not be possible for you to go out and talk to people and establish you know uh good relations with them now but you can always do via messages via whatsapp or uh, zoom or skype calls you can communicate with members of your family with whom you have not communicated for a long time they may be in some other state in some other country so this is the time to reestablish contact with them develop stronger bonds which will help you in the long run then 10th is act extroverted some of you may not have uh, you know that inner desire to communicate with a lot of people you may be introverted you keep things to yourself so this is the time to open up communicate with more and more people share your views with them get feedback from them analyze think critically and develop 11th own a pet well right now it is not possible if you already have a pet you know how difficult it is to look after that cat or uh, dog or whatever pet you have so we can postpone that for some time but obviously in normal circumstances if you have a pet it will definitely help you a lot if you are able to manage everything 
Twelfth is establish a predictable, rational, and cheerful home time. Well, we already talked about that home time. Home time when you are at home, in no normal circumstances, you must maintain a cheerful environment, happy environment. In fact, these days it is more important because everyone in your family may be worried, tense, because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen after a week, after a month. These are uncertain times. So at this uh, juncture, it is more important to maintain a cheerful environment at home. Thirteenth, grab a coffee with your co-workers. Well, it may not be possible now, but uh, you can always grab a cup of tea or coffee with the members of your family when you are at home. Then fourteenth is get out of the house at regular intervals. Now this is a strict no no at this time. Don't go out at all. Stay at home and stay safe. Fifteenth. Stare at trees, look at nature. That may be possible for you if you have a window or a balcony, or if you have a terrace. And if you are able to go on the terrace, then go have a look at the sky, look at the trees and plants, and all the things that you can see around you. Enjoy nature, being in nature. That's really refreshing and uplifting. Sixteen. Start following some sport. Well, if you are a sport enthusiast and if you are not able to go out and play, then at least you can follow that on some uh, TV channel or some website. Follow that sport. Seventeen <coughs> is eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Yes, this is very important because. As you know, we are passing through some tough times, and our immunity has to be improved. So, to improve your immunity, you must must eat good food. So, if you can get fruits and vegetables, nothing like that. Then, eighteenth is exercise. <coughs> well. Uh, you are not able to go to a gym or you are not able to go out but at least you can do some exercise at home some very primary fundamental movements basically if you have a terrace and if you are able to walk on the terrace that's fine but make sure that there are not a lot of people around you okay you should maintain that distance of 3 meters or whatever government has recommended the next is uh, number 19 stand up straight Yes. Uh, sometimes it is, you know, if you are working on your computer or your laptop, and for the whole day you are just sitting, or you know, you are on your sofa, lying in, lying on bed, and playing something on your mobile or watching something. So at certain times we do, we forget that we need to stand up and walk and stand up straight, and you know, something fundamental, something which is which is very primary. For our health, we forget. So it is good to stand up sometime and sit, stand straight. It will help you definitely. Then twenty. Ensure seven to nine hours of sleep. Well, these days it is less of a problem because most people are at home, and you are probably sleeping more than <laughs> required. But in other days, in other times, sleep is also important. Many people don't give importance to sleep. Twenty-one. Live near water. Well, I don't know the real significance of this, but uh, many people say that if you live near water, if you can see water, whether it is a river or a pond or a sea, it helps you. It strengthens your willpower. You become happier. Well, I am not that lucky. I have lived far away from any water body, so I can't tell you much about this. 
22 live where you have sidewalks on parks and bike paths. Well, in most areas these days, at least in India, we have lots of parks. So, currently we are not able to go out, but obviously when things return to normalcy, we will be able to go to parks and enjoy our evenings or mornings there. <coughs> you must be wondering why I am drinking so much of water. Well, one, it is recommended. And second, because I am speaking in a room which is right now closed to avoid external noise. So, it is a little uh, sultry. So, I I have a kind of dryness in my mouth. So, I need to drink a lot of water. But do not worry, everything will be alright. <coughs> 23. Spend less time commuting. Now, in many cases, I guess it is not possible to control. Right now we are at home, so there is no question of commuting, but in normal days, if your office is very far from your house, then you have to commute. Even right now, those people who are working in a municipal corporation or working with some NGOs and medical personnel, they have to commute. But if possible, stay at a place which is near your workplace, so that you avoid time, you avoid uh, wastage of time. And you can use the same time for some productive, useful things. Then 24, eat at home. It is strongly recommended at these days, but even otherwise, the more you eat at home, the better it is for your health. 25, plan something nice for week uh, Wednesdays. Uh, in many countries, actually, Wednesdays are difficult. Because uh, after spending, after enjoying the weekend, people go to work on Monday and Tuesday. So, these two days are difficult and Wednesday is in the middle of the week. So, Wednesday is a little difficult time. So, if you can plan something good on Wednesdays, then Thursdays and Fridays will not be difficult. So, plan your Wednesdays. And in fact, I would like to add from my side, also plan your weekends. Because sometimes on weekends, by the time you plan, your half the weekend is over and then you regret. So, instead of that, you plan your weekend. In fact, these days it is not possible to do anything because every day is like a weekend. We are at home and we will be at home for I do not know how many days. At least two weeks are planned. We do not know what will happen after two weeks. So, uh, plan your Wednesdays and also weekends. 26. Cut back on screen time. Well, in normal days, we recommend that uh, you should not work on your computer or laptop or watch TV a lot or work on your mobiles a lot. You should uh, read some books or talk to people. That is normal, right? So, avoid using your screen a lot. Screen in the sense TV screen or mobile or laptop screen because ultimately it is going to harm your eyes. Right now, we are passing through some exceptionally bad times. So, even some uh, medical professionals are saying that you stay at home, if you watch TV more than usual, no problem, at least for these days when we are passing through some really, really troubled times. Otherwise, you should not watch that much TV or work on your computer so much. <coughs> Then, the next is 27, don sunglasses when it is bright. Well, that is not really applicable these days because most of you are at home, but if you go on your terrace and if there is a lot of sunlight and if it harms your eyes, then it is better to wear sunglasses. 28, think about things we have, we have that make us happy. Well, this is important. Even if you are at home, you are not able to go out, you can always think about the time that you have spent out. If you have a family album, if you have some photographs uh, that you took when you were away on a holiday, for example, then you can think about them, think about all the good things that you have done, good times that you have enjoyed and that will keep you happy. Then, 
नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन डू वन थिंग एट अ टाइम वेल दिस इज पीस ऑफ साउंड एडवाइस फॉर ऑल द टाइम नॉट जस्ट नाउ फोकस ऑन वन थिंग डू इट इंजॉय इट मेक द बेस्ट यू नो यूज ऑफ द टाइम दैट यू हैव and then go for the next activity so do one thing at a time and 30 spend time on things that save time yes for example if you can make a list of things that you have to do for example shopping these days for half an hour probably in one or two days you will go out and do some uh, shopping for groceries and milk like that even some medical uh, uh, requirements some medicines or some uh sanitizers like that so it is better to make a list so that you don't waste your time after going to the shop you don't have to think about what you need to buy so make a list so uh, spend uh 30 spend money on things that save time for example if you don't have a good laptop and because of that you are wasting a lot of time you have to take others help then you buy a good laptop so it saves your time 31 be generous well it is very important these days many people they are suffering they need your help so help in whatever form possible it is not always possible to provide financial help then do some other kind of help there are many ngos working uh, across the globe actually so try to help them in whatever possible way <coughs> 32 spend money on spend money on experiences well these days it is not possible when you are at home but i am sure when in normal circumstances you can do different kinds of things you can uh, enrich your repertoire of skills and experiences for example certain activities which you have never done then in normal days you can after the you know everything becomes normal you can go out and experience that 33 use humor in positive ways yes humor is so so important in fact i am planning to uh, prepare a video on humor <clears throat> what are the ways we can generate humor and without harming anyone without disturbing anyone without causing you know any kind of ill will so humor is so important so use humor in positive ways not at the cost of somebody okay 34 use storytelling storytelling to shape your moods storytelling is so important uh, even on normal days when you tell a story you feel enriched from within in fact if you were a child i am sure somebody told you a story and you enjoyed that even as an adult everyone likes to listen to stories in fact in marketing people say tell your story then people will uh, you know be attracted to you they will be glued to what you are saying so you storytelling to shape your moods 35 invest time and emotions wisely across different spheres of life like these are what are the different spheres of life your people you live with your family people you uh, have as neighbors that's another sphere your community your people at your workplace your colleagues your professional colleagues people you uh, interact with online that's another community so these are all different spheres so invest time and emotions wisely across different spheres of life <clears throat> 36 start noticing good things this is so important in fact even at this time when we are all in uh, home quarantine start noticing good things what good things have happened have happened to you you are able to for example listen to this video that itself is a good thing you are able to uh, you know get your regular food and whatever tea coffee 
you have books around you, you can read, you can you have the internet connection because of which you are able to do many things. You do not have any tension, worry about uh, many primary things in life. So, start noticing good things. You are able to walk, many people are not even able to walk today. So, you are able to walk, you are able to move around in your house, you have all the good things around you that you can see. Start noticing hundreds and thousands of things that you have around you. Make a list actually, make a list of what good things have happened to you so far and what good things you have now. Make a no long list and I am sure it will help you a lot. It will boost your inner confidence, it will boost your happiness. And 37, in fact that is a very controversial point, 37 is do not think too much about happiness because sometimes you know people think about happiness so much so seriously that they forget that happiness is something that should happen to you, you should just be happy. You know sometimes for no reason also you should just be happy, right. So, these are the 37 things if you want to read in detail you can uh, get hold of uh, this readers digest issue. This article was published in the issue December 2019 and if you want to discuss any of these things with me you can always call me. I am sure you have my number, if you do not have I am uh, giving it 98254-4248. And if you are not in India, please remember the code for India is plus 91 and my number is once again 98254-42418. You can send me a WhatsApp message first and then maybe we will be able to talk. We may have a video call as well. So, please feel free to communicate with me. If you want to send an email to me, you can send it to me. Uh, my email address is fluentlingua at gmail.com that is my email address. So, I hope you like this video, if you liked it please share it with others and stay at home as long as possible and as far as possible because uh, we are all passing through some really really tough times. So, stay at home and stay safe and Take a lot of care of yourself and your loved ones. Thank you very much.